last workout of the week. It's Friday. You might be going outside. Even if you're not, we're going to give you something that will give you hypertrophy. But if you're going out, hey, might as well split some sleeves, right? Daggone right. Daggone right. That's what I'm talking about. Upper body sexy club scene blast. Yes, I trademarked that thing. No, actually, I didn't. But since I'm using it, I believe it does work as a usage trademark. Van, legal counsel? It works. It works. Okay, so, Van, tell us about what we're doing here. We've got upper body. We did strength. So what are we doing now? We're going to be doing high repetitions. Majority of the exercise is going to be 30 sets. Anywhere from 12 to 20 reps. Some exercises are 15 to 20. Yes, this is a great pump. You got a lot of blood into the muscles. You hit the dag on club, man. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be pulling out the shirt right. But let's assume you're like me and you drive a minivan. Okay? You're still going to, you've already done the strength part of, you've done it. You've hit it this week. And we're going to hit these muscles twice. So what's the logical thing to do? Get higher reps, work in that hypertrophy range, even on the higher end hypertrophy, and just really rock it out. Make sure all muscle fiber types are hit. I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Yes. Let's rock this thing, man. Day five of the split. This is the upper body sexy club scene blast. Why? It's Friday. You're going out tonight. We're going to make everything pumped and full. Yeah, I know. It sounds weird. But what we're going to do is the same thing we did for hypertrophy legs. Higher reps, higher volume, and different exercises you did. Whereas you did more compound movements. We did flat lunge. We did incline barbell for the other day, the strength day. We're going to flat dumbbell press for today. We're going to do between 12 and 15 reps, three sets. After doing one to two or even three warm-up sets. So I'm at 100 pounds here. So this is my working set. Before this, I did 50 pounds. And then I did 75 or 80 pounds. Now I'm up to 100. Remember on the warm up, don't go to failure. So Van will explain kind of how we're going to do this. Anytime you bench press them, you want to have your shoulders tucked, slightly arching your back. And you want all the pressure coming down on your shoulders. You're coming down nice, slow, controlled, almost coming down to your chest, and you're exploding up with the weight. Next up, we got cable crossovers. Got cable machine. We're doing three sets of 15 to 20. Go your kids. You want to do a stand up, just like that. See how he's slightly bent forward, but not all the way, not leaning over like he's pressing. Lean it forward now, and when you come down like that, it's going to work your entire pec area. It's going to work a lot of lower pecs, too. But at the end of the day, it's working your chest. Just worry about working your chest. Nice squeeze at the bottom, slow and controlled motion. There you go. That's how you do it. You can also cock your feet one in front of the other for stability so you're not rocking back and forth. Just make sure that core is nice and stable. Next up, we have machine lateral raises. If your gym doesn't have a machine lateral raise, you can use dumbbells like we did in workout number one. We're doing three sets for 12 to 20 reps. Nice, slow, controlled. All right, baby. Now we're rocking it. We're on any kind of machine row. Now, this you might be like, oh, I have this machine in my gym. Any rowing machine. And guess what? If you don't have a rowing machine, just pick a rowing movement. Do something where you're pulling your arms back. And Van is demonstrating the trademark humping motion right here. So anytime you're basically replicating humping, you're doing a back movement. You're getting ready for the club, man. Yes, you're getting ready for the club. <laughs> See, you're bringing your biceps, your back, and this is that movement you do in the gym. And then we're going to do a cabbage patch. You do it all. And then we're going to 12 to 15 reps, three sets, and this will set off your back. Higher reps, bring it out, hitting those different muscle fibers you hit the day before or earlier in the week. And we're good to go. So it's nice and straight, not cheating. Think about machines, chest against the pad. There's no body English going on here. It's all games back there. Next up, we have the isometric lap pull down machine. We're doing three sets for 12 to 15 reps. Which is a good way to have control, both the down motion and the up motion. And you're doing full range. No half reps, you're pulling the ball right down to your chest. Next up, we have dumbbell shrugs. We're doing three sets for 12 to 20 reps. Notice. This motion right here, you jerk with your traps, not with your shoulders. You want to roll back your shoulders <coughs> just a little bit while you're doing the motion. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Finishing off everything but the arms. Everything but the limbs here is your rear delts. A lot of people neglect their rear delts. They have nothing from the back. 
They're all front, no back. So what we have here, coming back nice and slow, again, this isn't a weight-based exercise. This is a gains-based exercise. We're going to do 15 to 25 reps, and we're going to really focus on squeezing the back here. See that right in there? That's what you're focusing on, right here. Put your mind back here and just squeeze it back. No herking, no jerking, just straight tension. Next rep, easy ball curls. We're doing three sets, 15, 20. Full range of motion, almost completely locking out at the bottom. We're just stopping short of relieving tension on the bicep. Since we're going to the club, this is going to give us the ultimate pump. Get all the ladies. Yeah, I've got the guns. <laughs> and that's you my know, only hope. If you ain't rocking a shirt that's hugging the sleeve <laughs> in the club, you're not going to pull any numbers. <laughs> Skull crushers. Now, a lot of you guys see the barbell version, and you can do that. But we're going to put today, again, you can alternate this with a different tricep movement, is dumbbell skull crushers. See how he's not going perfectly up. When you come all the way up, you're taking tension off your triceps by having a slight angle and almost kicking it back. You're coming and you're keeping constant tension. Look, there is no, if he had his arms straight up, this would not be tense right now. So we're gonna do three sets, 15 to 25 reps, rep it out, go light. Ego's left at the door today, why? Because the lighter you go, well, obviously to an extent, when you go light, you have perfect form, you keep constant tension on that. You go to the club tonight, you'll be ready to rock, baby. Have big arms, even Van's arms are gonna look big after this. <clears throat> Okay, guys, that's the end of our upper body hypertrophy workout. We'll Sexy! Popsy Blast! <laughs> Ready to go out, hit the friggin' town. Oh, yeah. This is the end of our four day training split. If you follow this program and you keep it consistent, 12 weeks, you're gonna have the best body you've ever had. I'm down for that. So we're ready to go. You know what? These shirts are off the chain. These shirts are off the chain. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll up these sleeves and I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Ready to hit. <laughs> All right, let's roll.